Now I installed this cut-in box and I'm getting ready to install a light switch. And before you install a light switch in a cut-in box, you want to take these little ears off. See there's a little groove right there. And so I, I'm just going to take my, my wire cutter and I'm going to score that a little bit. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to bend it back and forth like that. Okay. And I'm going to do that right here. Sometimes you can cut these in all in one go, but you know, it's hard to do. So I just scored a little bit more and then bend that off. Do the same thing here. <clears throat> See, it has a line. You could try to bend it, but lots of times it wants to bend just beyond it too. So, so I just score a little extra on the same line. Take that just beyond the line, bend it back and forth. And there you go. Because see, this, this part right here, it's going to fit into the notch of the cut-in box so that this will fit up flush with the wall. Okay, And what I like to do is I end up taking these little plastic goodies off. This kind of holds your, your, your switch screw from coming out. But I like, to, I like to get rid of that because once I get this in, because i got my wire nuts in there, I like to take it and push it all the way flat in into the box. And I can't do that with, with these screws in like that, you know what I mean? So, I do it slightly different than some electricians. Okay, so now I've got to have my wires. My wires I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put on here. And sometimes you can either put it straight on or you can, you can look at this and see if you can put the wire straight in there and I think this one, I think this one you can. Or you can put the loop in it. See there's a little backing piece in there. And you know, you can do it, you can do it that way. I just, I don't know. I guess it's all right to do it that way. I like to put the curly Q in, but I'll show you how to I'll show you how to do it both ways. Curly Q. But I'm gonna get this wire about the same length. And my ground wire is coming out a little bit long. I'm just gonna cut that a little bit. So I'm gonna strip strip this wire right there. And I might make it just a hair longer. And on this one, uh, I'm going to put a curly cue in it to see there's only a screw, a ground screw right there. Okay. And so on here, you've got little holes. See the little holes right there? I put that in there like that. And I hold it, I stick it out about an eighth of an inch and I twist it up halfway and slide that out. Okay, so now you got a little curly cue there. Okay, so now I can I can flip that around and I want the curly cue to go around the same direction as I'm going to put the screw. So I can kind of put a little tweak in here. Now I'm going to put that on there, flip it around. It's going around the same direction. Okay, and then I pinch the two together like that. Phillips screwdriver, tighten this up. Okay, hang on to it and tighten away. Get it snug. Okay, now you remember I have to look at this to see what's the top and what's the bottom. Boy, it's hard to see in here. I think this was, oh yeah, this is the top. Because see with the paddle, you don't have on, you, don't, you, want, you want it all the same. So when it's on, you push that. When it's off, it's down like that. That's for a single pull. This is a single pull. And so that's facing up. Okay. So now I can, 
I see where my wires are. This one is probably going to be down low. And so I'm going to put that one on the low one. I'm going to put it underneath that metal screw uh, washer under there. Hold that. Hold my mouth just right. And let's tighten this up and see if it's going to hold. And it should be fine. Okay. Some, some you have to actually loop this around the screw and stuff. I did promise you I would do that on one of them. Okay, so this one, you have to strip this back about an inch. And you now you can even measure this if you want. See, that's, that's not even seven eighths, so seven eighths of an inch. There we go. Now you're going to put your loop in here, stick it in about an eighth, and flip it up. Okay, like that. And now I have to undo this screw. Sometimes it gets tricky to get under here. You should be able to back that off without taking the screw off. You'll feel a definite backside to it. Now I can see I got it in there and I just pull it over like that. See how quick that was? Now I put pressure on that, hold it, take, take my, my, my tip here and I pinch those two together. that. See? I like that way better because there's no way it's ever going to come off. And see it goes around the same direction that I'm tightening this screw. Okay, There. This is facing up. And now I look at that and figure out how to get this in there. And usually the wires are facing down. And I can kind of hold that, lift up on this, put a bend in it, like that, okay, and push it in. That's why I don't like these screws here. See, I can really force this in, twist on this to see how well it's going to fit. I can still adjust it like that. I couldn't really do that with having these screws in the way. And you might think, oh, I'll just take the screw and ram it in there. Well, this is going into a plastic box. And you think you're going to do that with these screws? Good luck with that, because lots of times you'll strip it out of the plastic, or you'll bend the metal uh, because maybe the wire is hitting back behind there onto something. You know. See, now I can put these screws in. I like to just do it by hand. You could get a battery operated drill to do this, but if you go in too far, you could start stripping it or something. I can look at this. It's laying flat. It's not tweaked from side to side. If it was tweaked, I could take this and twist it back and forth. Okay. See how this little tab is going to fit in, inside this? And for now, I'm just going to line up half to half of the gap. And I might have to redo this to a certain extent when I put the cover plate on. Okay, it, it has a definite little groove there, so I can move this switch however I want. And same thing with this one, so that I can get it lined up perfectly for my, my uh, light switch cover. Okay. There we go. There's my light switch for the shower. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.